Hey friends, I'm Art Horn with New Life Church Stewardship, and this is NLC Live. Today we're looking at Hebrews 12, verse 15. It says, Looking diligently, lest any man fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Well, the first thing that hit me with this is, see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. And I immediately thought, well, I fall short of the grace of God. Uh, then I thought about uh, the, the verse in Romans 3.23 that we all know, and it says, um, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So, but he's saying here, and in, in, uh, God is saying to us in, in verse 15, it says, you look diligently, lest any man fall short of the grace of God. So I'm thinking, well, okay, what are we doing then? Well, when it, when it says fall short of the grace of God, see to it, to me that means we've got to be in community with each other. We need to see to it that our friends don't fall short of the grace of God, that the people in our life group, the people in our ministry group, uh, our friends, our family. So we need to be able to hear God. Uh, we need to be able to encourage people uh, with our mouths and with our actions and with the fact that we've got their back, even in their worst moments, we love them. Uh, that's important. So see to it that uh, it says, looking diligently lest any man fall short of the grace of God. So what he's saying there is see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. But then he says another thing. He says, and no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Bitterness comes when we believe lies. Bitterness comes when we are offended and, uh, and we believe that somebody has uh, intentionally hurt us or, or we just are offended at somebody's actions or what they said. Uh, maybe we're offended that we're not in the status of life that they're in or uh, maybe it's a comparison thing, you know. So, but bitterness is so um, deceitful, I think is the word I'm trying to say. It, it's so subtle. You can be bitter and not know it. But you know it when you're around bitter people, don't you? Uh, you know, you can get around uh, bitter people, but pretty soon you want to run from them, right? Because it's just a, it's not a very pleasant uh, conversation to be had with somebody that's got a bitter heart. And I think that's something that's very important. God says for us to guard our heart, for from it flows the issues of life. So everything that you're thinking about, every th decision you need to make, every relationship you're in, your heart is so important. It's important that we keep it free from offense. It's important that we don't let the root of bitterness come in because it defiles not just me, it defiles many. Everybody I run into, if I've got a bitter heart, I'm defiling them. Defiling basically just means that you're making them unholy. Uh, you're making them um, a, a less than what God intends for them to be. Uh, Pastor Rick has often said that we're to encourage people. That's his ministry for sure, isn't it? And, uh, but that's what we want to do. We want to make sure our mouth speaks blessing and not cursing uh, to our friends. So the, sin, the command is, that we have in this verse is see to it that no one falls short of the uh, grace of God. The, the sin to avoid is bitterness, uh, agreement with lies. And then application uh, to me, uh, what I'm learning lately is that the Holy Spirit wants to be our teacher in everything. So whether it's our finances, whether it's in our spending habits, whether it's in our uh, understanding of relationships, whether it's in reading the Bible, worship, uh, serving, whatever it is, connecting, uh, the Holy Spirit wants to lead us. So we need to always include Him on all of our decisions. My wife is so good. She says, seek God first in everything. Seek, seek Holy Spirit first in everything. And I think that's so important. So the application is, what is the Holy Spirit saying to you about this verse? Do you have the root of bitterness? Uh, are you offended? When I say, are you offended, does somebody's face come to mind? Well, then get quiet with God and talk with them about that person and what they did to you and, and how you can forgive and how you can get rid of that. The, I think the antidote to bitterness and offense is forgiveness. So we got, we got to learn to get good at it. Uh, we got to forgive quick, right? And so uh, I hope that you can do that. So seek God. Your application there is to 
to watch your agreements. What, what lies are you believing? And then ask the Holy Spirit to forgive you and help you to forgive others too and replace those lies with truth. Walk it out. So um, I want us to pray right now and let me pray for you. And, I'm gonna, and, and if you would, pray for me. I need you uh, to pray for me. I've got so many things that are uh, in my family and on my mind uh, that I just want the, his blessings on everything that we do, don't you? Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for NLC Live. I thank you for Tyler and all the, t the team that build this, uh, Neil Greathouse. And so, Father, I just pray for them. But right now, Father, I pray that you would reveal to us where we've been offended and hurt, where we've been wounded. And I pray that you, by your Holy Spirit, would root out that bitterness and that you would all replace it with your shalom peace, God. So I pray shalom for every one of us, complete, total peace and wholeness. And I pray this in Jesus' name. God bless you. Mm -hmm.